Dabo Sweeney said that this young man is playing the best football of his career at the moment. Part of that motivation comes from being pushed by the sensational freshman Trevor Lawrence, who Dabo Sweeney also said has all the intangibles of a Deshaun Watson, yet he's bigger, stronger, and faster. Bryant back to the air. And that is intercepted. First turnover of the season by Clemson. Kendall Vildor stepped in to take that tunnel screen away. Oh, my goodness. What a jump on this play. He just recognized this immediately. On third down, Bryant to the air. Has time. Now flushed. And he is set. How about Chris Harris, the third string linebacker, coming into the game? And it's now fourth down for Clemson. Well, in this secondary, doing a good job of covering downfield. And the hardest place to score is when you start to get into this red zone and space starts to tighten up. Words under pressure, thrown to the ground, and canceled by Austin Bryant. Yeah, this is a mental error on the part of the Eagles offensive line. Nobody lays a hand on Bryant. Choice. Ball is out. And Georgia Southern covers it up. Second to turnover by Clemson. Raymond Johnson recovered the fumble. And the Eagles... Get it back once more. Yeah, give the Eagles credit for the takeaway here, but the Tigers have been sloppy with the football. ETN in for an easy six. Clemson on the board first. On third down, Lawrence to the air. Blitz picked up by Davis. Downfield one. Justin Ross. Ross, a couple of great jump moves. He is the future at Clemson, and you got a glimpse. Get used to this connection. Lawrence to Ross, these two here. Great protection in the pocket. And Lawrence showing off that. First and goal from the one. Feaster in the backfield. Feaster leaping into the end zone for a Clemson touchdown. And very well played by this Clemson offensive line. C.J. Wright, 94 in the backfield, rumbling. <laughs> I tell you what, Ahmad, he's now their leading rusher. <laughs> I can't get enough of this, all right? Can they can they just leave just him in the ball game just right now? Let him eat. <laughs> On second and short, yeah, why not? And that time the ball comes out. Picked up by Clemson. Niles Pinkney came up with it and well, they went to the big fella maybe one too many times. We were so complimentary on his ability to hold on to the football, but this was intentional. You watch here, the rake. Still only carrying it with that one hand. And 44, Niles Pickney with the forced fumble and the fumble recovery. An excellent job there of knowing that the big fella has not been covering up the football with two hands. And, you know, he's tired, you know? <laughs> he's had a long day today for a big fella. Despite that, has still provided this team with a spark. This pass is tipped into the air and intercepted. Rashad Bird, who did not play in the first half due to a targeting suspension from last week, gets it right back for Georgia Southern. Third takeaway of the day, second interception. And at 6'6", you see he just did a nice job of hiding in behind as he was coming on the rush. Wurtz will keep. Touchdown, Georgia Southern on the board here in the fourth quarter. And that's got to feel good for Shy Wirtz from Newberry, South Carolina. He grew up coming to Clemson games offered by the Tigers. They did not see him as a quarterback. Went to Georgia Southern and Statesboro. Here comes the pressure. 
and Cleveland Farrell gets the sack, and Clemson takes over. And that's the fifth sack of the ball game, and Farrell, who is a tough out there, all coming off of that edge, and he's ferocious. This time here, just beating the tight end, man handled him at the point of attack. Shy Wartz was trying to squirt out of the back side of that pocket, but these guys are big, they're athletic. You see him change direction there like a cat and still manage to come up with the sack. The best catches from college football. ETN off to the races. And he punctuates a career day with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And there's this breakaway speed that we've heard about Etienne going to the boundary. This is hard. There's not a lot of space. Choice. Is he in? He is. And that's the second time he picked up some great yardage behind the freshman left tackle. The defense certainly today was the standout. Eighty rushing yards against an offense that averaged almost 330 coming into the game. Clemson puts the ribbon and wrapping paper on this one. 38 to 7, our final score.